Most agents are searching for the next tip trick or strategy that's gonna make them wealthy and successful, but the truth of the matter is none of that will make a difference unless you avoid these six habits that keep the majority of agents broke. There's a stat that came out that said 49% of agents in 2023 closed one deal or less. So most of them are learning, they're going to seminars, but they're all on the struggle bus because they have one or many of these six habits that are keeping them broke. So without further ado, let's dive into it with the first one being one that actually relates to this very new studio. What's up guys, my name is Mike Sherrard and I'm really excited to break down these six habits because the average agent is just looking for new tutorials, new strategies, but they're not getting to the root cause of why they're actually struggling. Now the first one actually relates to me creating my brand new studio here. Let me explain for a second. You see, when I was creating this studio, I invested a ton of money into creating my dream YouTube studio. I have cameras, I have monitors, I have lights, I have design elements. I've got so many different things in here. And you see what happens with most agents is they're saying, okay, well, I wanna get on YouTube. And they look for a camera. And they spend all of this time researching this camera, that camera, this light, that light. Or maybe they want a CRM. This CRM, that CRM, watching comparison videos between all of them, looking for all of the little nuances. But the truth of the matter is when I created this studio, I just sent a message to my buddy that knows things about cameras and said, which camera should you get? And he said, this one, I bought it. Which desk should I get? I watched one video, I bought it. There could be better ones out there, but the moral of the story is that analysis paralysis is the first habit that most people struggle with. They're always overthinking everything. And I see this all the time with agents getting started on YouTube, overanalyze their studio, overanalyzing the camera, the lighting, the audio. The truth of the matter is just get anything and start executing. When you look at things like CRMs, the best one is the one you're gonna use every single day. The best camera is the one you'll use every single week and be consistent. It really doesn't matter at the end of the day. And that is keeping so many agents from making progress because they're watching all of these comparison videos or should I do YouTube, should I do Instagram? You can be wildly successful with anything that you do if you're just consistent. So if you can start getting into the habit of saying, you wanna choose a CRM, I'm choosing this one and I'm committing to it. You wanna use a new camera, I'm buying this one, I'm committing to it. You want to use a new lead generation strategy, cold call, door knocking, YouTube, doesn't matter, pick one of them and commit to it. Because there's people that are wildly successful with all of it, the ones that do see success though, are the ones that commit for the long term and do it relentlessly year after year after year. Toxic habit number two comes down to what most agents really struggle with in the sense of playing the blame game. They're blaming the market, they're blaming the broker, they're blaming the brokerage, they're blaming the economy, politics, all kinds of different things. The ones that win in real estate are the ones that take complete and utter ownership of every aspect of their life. This goes to relationships, friendships, business, it does not matter. If you want to win, you have to take complete ownership of everything. And if it's not your fault, make it your fault because you can only start to make progress and make change once you're in control. But if you're pointing the finger at everybody else, you can't get in control because you're blaming other people. The truth of the matter is you're exactly where you are right now because of your own work ethic, your own habits. So pointing the finger at other people serves you nothing and just keeps you in this place of stagnation. And that's why so many agents struggle. So you need to take complete ownership of your business. And once you can realize, hey, I'm struggling because I'm not consistent, I'm not disciplined, I'm not doing the things that I say, that's when you'll actually start to see a significant change. Part three is where I see so many agents go wrong. This is probably the biggest one to be completely honest, which is you see people start on YouTube, for example, I preach that all the time. And three months into it, they say, well, Mike, I've been putting out these YouTube videos, but I'm not getting the results that I'm looking for. I'm not getting the views of the clients or whatever. Well, dude, you've been doing it for three months. Like, how can you expect to get great results? The ones that win are the ones that say, I'm doing this forever until it works out. It goes back to cold calling or door knocking. I knocked doors all week, but I didn't get any clients. Well, how did you knock the doors? How intentional, but more importantly, part number three, how consistent were you with doing it? So consistency being number three 
is where so many agents fall short is they like to try things, they like to test things, but they don't like to commit to things. And when you can commit to it and do it consistently for long enough, as I alluded to before, you can be wildly successful with whatever you do. I know agents making seven figures a year from door knocking, cold calling, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, it does not matter. But the one thing that they all have in common is they're wildly consistent. That leads to part number four, which goes to delayed gratification. Instant gratification is the bane of so many agents' existence. They learned this new prospecting script for cold calling, Fizbo's are expired. They learned from somebody that has done it at the highest level. Or maybe they learned from YouTube from me and I've helped create hundreds of successful YouTube channels. Well, if you just commit to doing what that person said, you can be successful too. There's no reason you can't be. Nobody else is special. You're as good as anybody else that's seeing the success. But where most go wrong is they do it for a week, they do it for a month, they do it for three months, and they don't keep going. And they're always looking for that instant gratification, satisfaction, if you will, that dopamine hit, to the point where if it doesn't work out within a confined a lot of period of time, they go on to something else. And guess what they do again? They test that and it doesn't work after a short period of time and then something else. And this becomes a repeated cycle. So when you're doing anything in real estate, what you need to go in with the perspective of is, I'm gonna do this forever. Because the truth in real estate is if you follow a proven blueprint, you do it consistently and you continue to consciously try to improve every single week, month, year, you're bound to be successful, but you have to go in the mindset and Alex Hermosi says this the best, which is that the ones who can extend the time horizon for which they're expecting tangible results are the ones that are basically guaranteed to win. So the further you can say, I'm gonna do this not just for three months, but one year, better yet, five years, better yet, forever. If you go in with that perspective and you don't get the results within three months, but you said you're gonna do this for 10 years, are you really gonna care? No. So let's start to embrace delayed gratification and commit to doing one thing relentlessly forever. Part number five, massive one here, one that not many people talk about, definitely isn't talked about enough, which is counting other people's money. Let me explain. This is a concept that you're gonna relate to, but I'm framing it in a bit of an unorthodox way. And what I mean here is that Counting other people's money is looking what other people are doing instead of looking what you should be doing. So one of the most common examples of this is agents following other people in their market, other agents in the market that are crushing it. And I fell victim to this in the beginning too, where I was a new agent and what I was doing is I was following all these top producers in my market and I'm sitting here trying to get my first couple of deals under my belt and they're doing a couple of deals seemingly every single day. And what happened is I started to compare myself to that and I felt shameful and I felt bad thinking, what am I not doing? What am I doing wrong? Why don't I get that listing? Why don't I have this amount of clients? Because you're comparing yourself to other people. And when you start comparing yourself to other people, the first thing it does is comparison is the death of joy. It takes your focus and time away from doing what you need to be doing, focusing on other people who are doing what they're doing. But it's also just such a toxic behavior. I see this constantly and anybody knows I don't follow any local agents in my market unless they're in my Wolfpack group, in my Mastermind Atlas Alliance, or I'm very close friends with them. And there's no competition because at the end of the day, I wanna see everybody in my inner circle win. And there's plenty of business for everybody. But with that being said, I don't look at other agents' stories. I don't look at the deals they're doing. I don't look at the success they're having. All the power to them. I wish everybody the greatest chance of success. So what happens constantly is that you're counting other people's money by just looking at agents that are in your market that don't serve your business. They're not paying your bills. They're not getting your next deal for you or agents that leave your team or leave your organization. If you leave my ecosystem, I don't even think about you. And once you can just start to adopt this habit of ignoring everything, knowing that if you get better 1% every single day, you'll achieve everything you could ever dream of. After you stop counting other people's money and caring what they should be doing and focusing on what you should be doing, your business is going to explode. And number six is one that I see most agents struggle with. And to be completely honest, nobody's perfect. I sometimes even struggle with it. So I'm being real here. Like nobody is perfect and everybody seems to try and put on this perfect persona on YouTube. And that's just not the case. So the truth here is that so many agents say, okay, 
I'm going to prospect tomorrow, 1 p.m., 12.30, 12.45, 12.50, 12.55. And what do they not do? Prospect. I'd rather browse the MLS, design something on Canva, study the market in some way, shape, or form, or go to coffee with a lender, a title rep, or somebody else, but they don't do what they say they're going to do. I'm going to record content this week. Guess what most agents don't do? record content when they say they're going to. And that all comes down to lack of discipline. If you can start to get in the habit of following through with the commitments you make to yourself in all aspects of life, not just big tasks like recording content, prospecting, but like doing the laundry, doing the dishes, going to the gym, eating healthy. Once you can get in a routine and build a habit around committing and following through with your commitments, you're gonna get on a winning streak, you're gonna feel invincible, it's gonna be intoxicating, and you're going to start to build massive momentum. One of the easiest ways to do that is with the power list, five income producing activities every single day, and that's gonna start to put you in this momentum phase that's gonna start to give you the confidence that you can do anything. Now, if you liked this video and got value from it, check out this next video, which is a collaboration I did with the mindset coach of Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Kevin Durant, where he breaks down the three successful habits that all successful agents have. And this is one of the most valuable interviews I've ever done. So click that, take a listen. It's one of the most valuable things you'll find, and it completely changed my life, and I hope it changes yours.